Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Tonight, I'm going to be reviewing one of the classics. Um, from the Black Sheep Brewery, Rig Welter. I hope that's how you pronounce it. 5.7% um, Strong Dark Yorkshire Ale. Um, powerfully dark and full flavoured ale from Masham in Yorkshire. When a sheep on its back and cannot get up without help, the local Dales dialect says it's rigged or rig rotted. Didn't know that. So, obviously, not in the beer room, it's too damn cold. And uh, so, let's crack it open. I've had it before, so it's not new bit to me, but uh, I'll certainly know it's a goodie. So. Different glass tonight, uh, Foster's glass I got from Miss Sainsbury's days. So, slightly tan head, um, I'd say that's a dark amber colour, in this, in this light anyway, sometimes a light, you know these cheap, um, these low voltage lights or you know LED jobbies can't always get the true light. I can certainly see like my, the uh, receding airline on my head, that's about all I can see. So yeah, there it is. Nice so does it, just trying to get angles right in here. Uh, right. Malty smell from the, from the off. Or oh, aroma, you know, smell. <laughs> all right, let's have a taste. Been a long day, so. Ooh. Lovely multi uh, flavours as well. Can't actually pick out um, the flavours, but certainly a good strong multi beer. So, going off on a tangent, second. Uh, my son comes up to me the other day. He says, uh, "Yeah, Dad, um, I'm thinking about buying you two um, uh, beer collections for Christmas." I says, "Yeah, that's great. You know, thanks." And he showed me them, them on Amazon. And uh, you get 12 beers in each collection. Basically, 12 beers for 36 quid. So, 70 quid for 24 beers. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you go to some of these um, small shops, you would pay that anyway. You know, my wife paid 50 quid for seven, 51 quid for 17 beers. So, you know, three quid a beer. So then I thought, well, why not utilise um, some of the online delivery? Um, so I went on Retro's and they're doing an offer. Um, £20 off if you spend over 80 quid. So it brings it down to 60. I thought, will I be able to get uh, all the beers I want? So I've, I've gone on tonight and um, Sadly, I couldn't get some of the ginger wine that I wanted. Stone Special Reserve ginger wine, which I'm a bit gutted about. But it means I've got more beers. And all these are new beers, never reviewed any of them. So, you know, in that way, brilliant. And some beers never even heard of before. And uh, basically, I've got for... It's worked out to 70 quid and 25 pence. I've uh, got the £20 off, so it brought it down from 90 to 70 And I've got 45 new beers for 70 quid. So, and these are, you know, things, canned beers. There's even the Fuller's Vintage Ale in there. The £6 a bottle vintage ale. Really looking forward to that. So, you know, what a bonus. And a fantastic Christmas present. So, quick look on the internet. Have a look, see what other people say about this. I presume this is going to be have one of some of the strongest, um, highest reviews because it is a, a perler of a beer. Wig to beer. So, for on ratebeer.com, as you can see, yeah. 
3.5 out of 5, which for an aggregate website is a good score. Um, 740 ratings, that's from. And uh, they, they say it's their second best selling bottled beer. Uh, aroma is roasted malt, hops and banana fruit. Wow, didn't smell the banana. Taste, this strong velvety ruby brown beer really is a wolf in sheep's clothing. It is deceptively, <laughs> deceptively <clears throat> clean drinking with a wonderful complex palette of coffee, bananas and licorice which rewards you with a long dry goldings hop finish. Ingredients, we use a base of Marisotto malted barley but add plenty of pale chocolate malt to give Wigwelter its rich dark colour, espresso nose and roasted malt flavours. That's better I can see now. Um, we use a touch of wheat which helps deliver the lovely creamy head and lacing down the glass. Just what you would expect from a proper Yorkshire beer. Aye. All our bottled ales are suitable for both vegetarians and vegans. What's in a name? And then it says about the sheep job. Eh? So, on reviews. Clear dark brown with a small head that doesn't last long. Uh, that, that's correct because the head has gone. Uh, the nose is profoundly malty. I got that straight away. With bread, dates, plum, caramel and whiskey. Whiskey. There is very little sweetness on the tongue. The beer, this beer is dry and fairly bitter. My only gripe is a little too sour finish. I would certainly buy this one again. And another one, 3.8 out of 5. Uh, pretty good strong ale, light on the tongue, dark in character, a little chocolate, a little fruit and a mild grassy hop afterburn. Tried at Anouk's birthday party, whoever that is. Um, another, 3.5. Ruby red pour. So yes, ruby red rather than the dark amber. A uh, finger of head. That could sound wrong in, that could sound really wrong in the, uh, you know, not getting any aroma. Yeah, I got a mould, but I didn't get much, you know. It's uh, toasty, pleasant chocolate, cherries, cookie moulds. Dry, but not very bitter. Tasty treat to find this randomly in Russia. So, just goes to show you that beers, but British beers are worldwide, and it's fantastic, you know. So they should be. If Brexit happens and the European stuffers, you know, uh, whether you agree with this Brexit or not, you know, I'm sick to death of hearing about it but um, you know it's nice that, that we are, our beers are going all over the world brew dog are, are leading the charge in America you know and America needs it because when you go to their supermarket boy it's all bloody Budweiser it's like 30 versions of Budweiser and it's all the same to me I mean I don't even like Budweiser so yeah lovely definitely ruby red more than dark amber well, must be the light. And the one good thing about drinking it in, you know, in a warmer condition is that it's more the temp temperature to be drinking uh, these sort of beers. You don't want to be drinking this in a freezing cold uh, shed or beer room, as I call it. Um, this is this is a beer that deserves to be drunk at room temperature. So yeah, lovely. Definitely getting a hint of banana, not a lot, but a hint. I'm trying to see this chocolate and cherries and all that. You know, because when people say they can get that, you think, well, can I get it? You know, they can get it, surely I can. Uh, when I was on a wine tasting course, first one I went on, uh, the, the teacher was fantastic. And he was coming out, he was saying, I can taste this and this. And we were all looking at each other thinking, yeah, well, I can't taste nothing. And then as you go on, you can actually start to taste it. He sucked it through his teeth. <sighs> like I had a bit in his mouth, sucked it through his teeth. And it accentuates the uh, flavour, you know, it really ramps it up. But it's not easy to do it. And plus you look a proud doing it. Wow. So the coffee 
really comes to the front there and the chocolate really quite strong man wow so black sheep brewery do a lot of nice beers you know um, obviously they've got the, the standard black sheep pale ale bitter and whatnot. Uh, they've got that Yorkshire square ale they've got Venus and Mars and I've reviewed quite a few now some really good beers uh, from them and uh, Rig Welds is probably, I would say, the best beer that they do. Uh, for somebody like me who likes, prefers stronger beers, and certainly darker beers, um, yeah, it's certainly down my road, definitely. And I've got to say, this is close to a top 10 beer for me. This is, you know, it's got some really nice, you know, the aroma, uh, the aroma, it's there, but it's not, I won't say it's overpowering, or there's a lot of it, you know, so that's probably the only weak side of it, taste-wise, oh, brilliant, you know, all the way down the glass, absolutely lovely. Could you drink a few of these? Oh, bless you. You know, this is the stuff you could drink a, a case of. You know, well, not all in one go, obviously, because you'd be on your back after about three or four. But, um, yeah, really nice. Not sure whether the, it's catching that. It looks like it's steamed up over here. What's happened is the bloody camcorder has, um, you know, the bits that open up when you, you, you open... You open the lens up and they normally go down but for some strange reason they've stuck open stuck closed rather so I've had to sellotape it down so I'm not sure whether the sellotape's just catching it just there so you know I miss bit here but as long as you can see me and I'm legible in some way we'll carry on if not I'll have to go out and buy a new camcorder that absolutely gorgeous so 5.7% taste like a six and a half seven percent absolutely spot on um, yeah you can see the little sheep on the on the back there um, which gives it the name um, I still got that lovely taste in my mouth now really nice so out of, out of five, um, I'm going to give this a good 4.65 out of five. We are talking top 10 territory or top 15 territory. But yeah, that's a belter, absolute belter of a beer. Right, thanks for watching this one. Slightly rather long um, beer review. I rattle on for no reason like I normally do. Thanks for watching. See you soon.